glad to have you back. Today we're going to be doing a review of a sailor pen. Now, I'm sure many of you know that um, in 1911, Mr. Kayogoro Sakata, um, Japanese engineer, met with a British sailor um, who brought over fountain pen with him. Um, and Mr. Kogoro was so impressed with it that he decided he was going to make fountain pens um, just as good as the one that he'd seen from the British sailor, um, hence the Sailor Pen Company. Um, and boy, have they um, have they done that over the years. So let's open this up. Pen comes in a little case. Now this is the Sailor 911 ringless fountain pen with simply black rhodium trim. Um, and a 21 karat gold nib, which we'll have a look at in a bit. So in the box, um, you get a little note. This is just saying that the um, the gold nib, 21 karat gold solid gold nib, is um, iron plated um, to give the black colour. Um, and you should be careful what ink that you use, so you don't destroy the the colour of the plating of the nib. Inside you get a cartridge. You also get a converter, which I've already put in the pen. Um, and uh, some instructions. Um, they got the warranty in there as well, so that's all good. So let's have a closer look at the pen. Now, wow, what a design! What uh, aesthetic this pen has! Who's going to be using this pen? James Bond, maybe uh, a ninja. Um, it is just super cool. Um, the black detailing of the um, clip um, and the metal decorations all um, in rhodium trim it looks fantastic uh, it's perfect uh, let's have a look inside it's one and a half about to um, get the screw cap off um, inside we've got a beautiful 21 karat gold nib now this is a zoom nib black nib looks great with the rest of the designing of the pen a little more decoration here again rhodium trim and I can already tell you that the weight and balance of this pen unposted I've got no doubt that they won't have let us down yeah posted as well spectacular I can almost guarantee that this pen is going to be a beautiful writer let's have a quick look at the Ink converter. This just came with a standard um, ink converter, and um, I filled that up with black ink. Had to be black, didn't it? Go with the pen. As you expect from Sailor, all the screw mechanisms are like butter, particularly the cap mechanism. I could just do that all day. Okay, so. Let's have a little writing test with this pen. Now I filled the pen up with um, black ink as I was saying. Uh, I'm going to be using um, Diamine's Jet Black for the writing test today. Okay, so word of the week uh, is opacity. City. That's basically the warmth of the winter sun, which is pretty apt for today, considering it's a winter's day, but spring just starting to, to break through. That beautiful sunshine. Okay, the balance of the pen and the feel of the nib on the paper is superb. Um, let's have a little go with some reverse writing. Now this is a bit unfair. I'm not going to talk too much about the zoom nib um, in terms of why a zoom nib and what a new zoom nib does. I'll have a look at that in another video. If you want to um, learn all about zoom nibs, I'll put a little um, link to top right up here. Um, 
out there um, so you can have a look and learn all about zoom nibs um, another time uh, but for now let's just really focus on on the pen um, one advantage of zoom nibs though is they do have a grind for reverse writing so expect this to be pretty pretty nice reverse little flow sometimes there we go it's been writing one way it doesn't want to write the other pristine not flowing so well um, there we go it's a bit better very comfortable reverse writing as most zoom nibs are because of that extra grinding that they get to give that edge on the reverse um, be very happy writing with that in reverse if need be Okay, so let's do a little bit of cursive. Um, We all enjoy the feeling of apricity on their skin. Fantastic writer, unbelievably smooth, really um, enjoyable to write with. I can tell it's the sort of pen you're not going to get a tired hand with, um, and it's something that you're going to want to pick up time and time again to write with. Uh, definitely the sort of pen you'd want to have on your desk um, to to be there to pick up and to, to use on a on a daily basis. This is definitely not a pen to put in the cupboard. This is a pen to be used. All right, so a little bit of uh, some characters. So well, it's a Japanese word for black. This is Kuro. Oh, black. I think that's pretty apt for, for the pen that we're reviewing today. Okay. Artists out there. Let's have a little go at how this um, pen works with some sketching. ink flow on this pen but it's a zoom nib it really acts generally as a similar to a broad when you're just working normally with it the ink flow on this pen is brilliant wow So saying earlier, the, the balance of this pen in the hand uh, is really, really good. Any one buying this pen for some art drawings, um, you know, really isn't going to be let down at all by this. Ninjas have got good flexibility, haven't they? It's quite wet. 
what an absolute gusher really nice um balance actually with the with the flow um just the right amount Yeah, I could just sketch with this for a long time and enjoy working with this. But for now, on with the review. So, no problem at all using this for, for some artwork. Definitely recommend it to um, any artist who's looking at doing some fountain pen um, art. So, um, this pen is super fun. Um, it's a beautiful nib, it's got a lot of character, an awful lot of character, maybe one of the most characterful nibs I've, um, I've used. Um, it's a stunning design, it feels credible in the hand, I don't think there's going to be any hand strain if you're using this pen. Uh, the 1911 is a fantastic design anyway, um, but somehow they seem to have added to it with this, with this particular pen. Um, everything about it makes me want to pick it up. Um, and I think fun factor is is definitely there. So in terms of the, the pen hunter conclusion, um, well, is it avoid shortlist or buy it? Uh, well, I think this is a definite buy it. Um, this 1911 Rimless um, has to be one of the, the best pens that I've reviewed, um, and I couldn't recommend it recommend it more. Okay, feel free to ask any questions. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Thanks a lot.